Hey y'all, it's Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> you might see my dog here in the frame, I just can't keep him out. He uh, just wants to be here and hang out today. So thank you so much for being here. I am glad that you clicked on this video. If you have not already, consider clicking the subscribe button down below to stay looped in on more of my videos. So today's video is a fun one. It's going to be the books that have been on my TBR for the longest. I started looking back at YouTube, Bookstagram, all that sort of stuff in maybe 2019 and I started my Bookstagram in 2020. I hadn't read anything for fun probably since 2011. Some of these books, hi Griffey, some of these books have been on my TBR since forever, right? There's one I think that's been on my TBR since I was a kid. Um, and that's just sad because I am <laughs> much older now. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to talk about each of these books, tell you how long they've been on my TBR, and let you know maybe why I haven't read them and when I'm hoping to get to them. All right, y'all, so I've got my handy dandy notebook. It's going to tell us everything that we need to know today. Um, and the first book that has been on my TBR forever is the series, The Lord of the Rings. Uh, some of y'all know this, my favorite movie adaptations, my favorite movies ever, are The Lord of the Rings. I talked about this in, I think, my winter TBR. We walk down the aisle to Lord of the Rings music. Like, we, we are those people, okay? But I have never read the books. I've read The Hobbit, and I've read probably the first third of The Fellowship of the Ring. The, these books have been on my TBR since I saw The Fellowship of the Ring in theaters, like, as a kid, right? So, like, forever ago. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed how long they've been on my TBR, um, but I'm excited to read them. I'm going to read them this year with two of my friends over on Bookstagram, and I can't wait. All right, next on my list is The Way of Kings. This has been on my TBR probably since 2019 um, when I first heard about it. Um, it is over there on my shelf right now. It is a thousand pages. It's very long. The pages are like literally Bible paper. Um, that is why I haven't read it yet because I don't understand what it's about and I love to know what something's about before I read it or watch it. Otherwise, I'm so confused. Um, I don't really know what it's about. It's huge. It's intimidating. I need someone to read it with me. <laughs> I am reading it this year again with a friend from Bookstagram. I'm super excited. It's one of those books that it just like stares at me over from the shelf and there's so much more in that world right the whole Cosmere universe there's so many books just in that series alone that I feel like I need to know am I committing to this world or am I gonna read the first one not like it and then move on right um, so I'm gonna read it this year but it's been on my TBR since at least 2019 okay the next one on my list is Silverborn by Jessica Townsend this is the fourth book in the Nevermore series um, I found out about Nevermore again in 2019. I started reading them as soon as they came out, or as I could get them after they came out. I have all of them on my shelf over there, except for the fourth one. I'm obsessed with Nevermore. It's going to be a musical movie. I, like, flawless, right? These books, to me, are absolutely flawless. If I haven't mentioned before, Nevermore is middle grade fantasy, and it's middle grade fantasy at its best. It's, like, magical just magical goodness okay and I love it so much the fourth book however um, got pushed back due to COVID and I got pushed back several times so this book has been on my TBR I don't know since 2020 is that when we knew about it 2020 2021 um, and we thought it was coming out in 22 then we thought it was coming out in 23 and then it got pushed back to 24 it has a release date now for 2024 for early fall and I like I can't even believe that it's that is actually happening I'm so excited so um, I have all these books already I'm gonna get the fourth one I think this series is amazing I think there's gonna be seven and I'm just so excited okay next on my TBR is Assassin's Apprentice this one I have also thought about since 2019 it is by Robin Hobb it is in a big realm I think it's Realm of the Elderlings series super long like 12 books so I haven't read this one either for similar reasons to Lord of the Rings Way of Kings right it's dense it's epic um, it, it's lengthy um, and it's a little bit old-school epic fantasy I just I'm intimidated I'm so intimidated I'm I I hear everybody saying it's like one of the best series out there and I think oh it's gonna be too complex I I won't be able to understand this or I won't be able to enjoy it and I'm scared it's going to be like that and I need to just like 
get over that. <laughs> I need to tell myself like, you are smarter than that, you got this. Okay, next on my list is Game of Thrones. This has been on my TBR since the adaptations first came out. Um, I love the adaptation. I think even season, what is it, eight, the last season of the adaptation is great. I know that's a really unpopular opinion, but uh, I said what I said. I love these so much. The characterization is impeccable. It's beautiful to watch all of that. I'm scared again that I'm not going to like the books because I'm going to be too intimidated. I'm not going to be able to keep up, all that sort of stuff. There's a bunch of them, plus they're really long. Plus the last one has been in the works for like 10 years. So <laughs> I'm scared to like commit to this big series. But again, reading it with a friend for Bookstagram, we're going to get it done. And the last book on my list for books that have been on my TBR the longest is the darn book King of Scars. <laughs> this has been on my list since it came out. I read um, Shadow and Bone Trilogy, The Rishiverse. I read Six of Crows Duology. Excellent. Love them. Love all of those books. Um, and I just I was scared to re read King of Scars because I know one thing that happens in this darn duology and it, um, it broke me, <laughs> okay? It actually broke me. And I'm scared, Tori, if you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. I am scared to experience what I already know is going to happen. I've heard these books are really good. I love the rest of the series, so I have no idea why I'm not reading them other than that. But yeah, I'm going to read King of Scars. It's going to happen. So again, if you need to read King of Scars for the first time, please hit me up. I respond to all messages, all DMs, all comments, everything. I will respond to them. So please hit me up. I want to read King of Scars with you. It's going to be great, okay? It's going to be great. It's going to break us, but we're going to read it. So those are the books that have been on my TBR the longest. They're the books that I need a push to read. So if you are still watching, please let me know in the comments. Which of these do I need to prioritize? Which of these are the best? Can I get through these epic fantasy? Please let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. So um, again, please consider subscribing by clicking the link down below. I will also link all these books in my description bar. They will probably be affiliate linked um, through Amazon. So if you want to read with me, check them out. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.